Our top story centers around North Korea. The Hermit Kingdom held a key legislative meeting, with much are still waiting for any messages to Seoul or Washington. Beijing, meanwhile, agreed to get tougher on its longtime ally. Connie Kim starts us off with China's change in stance on the reclusive regime, which proved to be temporary and well-timed in the past. Chinese President Xi Jinping did not display a change of stance on dealing with North Korea following a summit with U.S. President Donald Trump last week. But Beijing seems to be upping more pressure on the North after seeing Washington's firm stance against Pyongyang's nuclear threats. Following the U.S.-China summit, China's top nuclear envoy Wu Dawei quickly made a trip to South Korea to hold talks with his South Korean counterpart Kim Hong-un on Monday, with the two agreed for stronger measures against North Korea if it conducts another nuclear test. The two sides agreed to additional and stronger U.N. Security Council resolutions if the North carries out a strategic provocation such as a nuclear test or an intercontinental ballistic missile launch despite warnings from the international community. China, a traditional ally of North Korea, had previously been reluctant to corner Pyongyang too much. But in what could be seen as a possible change on China's North Korea policy, Beijing's foreign ministry released a rather refrained quote to Washington's uncommon decision to send back its USS Carl Vinson strike group near the Korean peninsula, in contrast to widely expected strong opposition comments. China's recent moves seem to reflect U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's statement in an interview with CBS following Trump and Xi's summit that Beijing is beginning to recognize that North Korea presents a threat to even China's interest. While there are speculations Beijing may have decided to take on a hardline policy against the regime, some North Korea watchers in Seoul say this is part of China's calculated moves. It seems like China's North Korea policy changed, but Beijing has the habit of pushing North Korea away whenever tensions rise on the Korean peninsula and pull Pyongyang back when tensions die down. Experts who agree with such views say China is likely to display its original stance when Washington's strategic assets pull out from the Korean peninsula. Connie Kim, Arirang News.